Hello friends, in this video, let's talk about what are all hardware and software requirements to install the SQL 2019 on any server, desktop or home laptops. When you do any software installation, it used to have their minimum requirements. If your hardware is old or if your software is old, you may not be able to install the recent version of any software. So let's talk about our SQL 2019. That's for sure you cannot install SQL 2019 on Windows 7 or Windows Vista. Let us see what are all minimum hardware and software requirements one by one in this video. So let's quickly talk about first of all hardware requirements. So when I say hardware, so what are all, how much minimum space required to install the software? What is the minimum hard disk space and what is the uh, minimum memory required? See, I, my memory is very less if I go for high-end software. So it, it won't run, it, it used to stuck every time. So these are the minimum requirements I am giving. So if you want to add some additional feature of SQL Server, then you need some more uh, space actually. But just to do a basic installation on any of the server or desktop or laptops, you need these minimum specs of hardware. First of all, what is the minimum hard disk space required to install SQL 2019 is 6 GB. So better to have more than that, but minimum 6 GB required to do the installation. As I mentioned, so if you are adding new new features, then you need to see the space as well. 6 GB won't enough. Next one is, so monitor also. So you need to see some monitor which supports. So SQL Server requires minimum super VGA. I mean 800 into 600 resolution or higher resolution. This is a minimum. If you have higher resolution, then that's good. You don't need to think about this is about a monitor. The next one is <coughs> memory. This is one of the important. So memory. <coughs> so it depends now. If you are using Express Edition, we talked about what are all the list of editions in the previous video. So you can check that editions video in the description as well. But yeah. So if your edition is Express, these are the minimum I am talking about. If you are uh, edition is express then 512 MB would be fine as per the Microsoft specs for all other editions you need minimum 1 GB these are the minimum I am talking about so if you are expecting little good performance in the queries obviously yes this 1 GB or 512 MB won't enough but recommended so recommended for other editions is Recommended 1 GB is very base bare minimum, but recommended 4 GB of RAM required for other editions and even for Express also 1 GB of RAM would be recommended to see at least query results. The next one is processor. So processor. See, processors also has some speeds in Giga H. Okay, so minimum process speed required 1.4 Giga H. Okay, but recommended recommendation from Microsoft even is 2.4 Giga H or higher. See, if you have higher uh, hardware then you will get a very good performance in the queries. 
even though you do a fine tuning even though you do indexing and partitioning in the sql level but if the hardware is very old <coughs> then you may not get a nice performance and the processor type this is the processor speed actually i talked about next one is processor type this is as per the microsoft uh, i'm talking about so better would be the x64 processor of amd amd has different uh, uh, processors amd octron amd athlon 64 intel exeon with uh, intel em 6040 support or intel pentium 4 with uh, em 6040 support these are the bare minimum hardwares now let's come to the software so people used to do the installation on windows 7 or windows vista it don't work and they used to uh, ask like so why i'm not able to install or i'm getting the installation error or something like that so yeah each and every version of sql has a basic hardware and software requirements so you need to see those so as i mentioned bare minimum requirements at least need to satisfy to do the installation then for a better performance you need to go for recommendations as well so now let's come to the software requirements so operating system so operating system is at least windows 10 or greater or higher or greater whatever it is windows 10 or greater that is a uh, like a, a normal version if you are talking about server windows server 2016 or greater so os is windows 10 or greater for the uh, laptop or desktops when you talk about server it should be a 2016 or greater next it required dot net framework as well so it required dot net framework so and uh, if, if you see here operating system includes minimum dot net framework okay it, it used to have a minimum dot net framework so that should be enough that should be enough next so network software so see let me write about here so network software see operating systems for sql server have a built in network software what i mean is it's having named or default instances of a standalone installations those supports a shared memory named pipes and tcp ip those are default one so when you do a installation you need to name the installation actually so named are default instances so and by default you will get it as a so shared memory named pipes and tcp ip protocols actually so those are a little uh, high level one we'll talk about the protocol in a separate video in a detailed manner so that's all about it these are the minimum basic hardware and software requirements you need to have these bare minimum then only you can do the sql 2019 installation otherwise it won't allow you to go for the installation so that's all about it so see you in the next video thank you